This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. everybody welcome to my channel my name is luke thank you very much for watching do appreciate it don't know who i am i'm a class one driver and uh i am one of the few vloggers who have documented their entire career from uh from deciding i wanted to change my life to getting my license to, to doing the theories to doing the practicals to get my first job the lot i've covered it all I'm Luke, thank you very much for joining me, I do appreciate it. Thank you for all the uh, uh, returning viewers that visit me and watch my channel, really do appreciate it. Anyway, how is everyone? Hope you're all right. Today we are going to Canary Wharf. Uh, we're going to London. We've just got loaded, we're fully loaded with 22 pallets. Uh, my colleague is here in front, he's gonna probably go on in now. So, <laughs> yes, we're, uh, we're gonna head head on out uh, to Canary Wharf. Now, I don't actually exactly know where we're going. I've never been to Canary Wharf before, so this is gonna be the first time for me. Um, I know how to get to Canary Wharf. It's pretty much M4. I'm based in Swindon, so we're gonna go uh, M4, uh, clockwise around the M25, come down the M11. That is the route we're gonna take to go into London from what will essentially then become the east side of London and uh, we're going to head into Canary Wharf that way but as I said I've never been to Canary Wharf before I've had a quick google and um, it looks like it's its own little island in London little island like it's surrounded by the river and it looks like there could be two ways in but like the one way in has got a security gates there and I, that's the way I'm going to aim to go in I do have a phone number I am going to pull over at some point and call him I also need to get fuel because I got half a tank at the moment so I'll be all right for the day but the problem is, I don't know what I'm doing after London, so um, I'd rather be safe and just fill up now so I know I've got plenty of fuel. One less thing to worry about, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I, I will give the guy a call because on my paperwork, the postcode is invalid. It doesn't actually take me anywhere. It's an invalid postcode. I do have a street address. It's Upper Bank Street, so that's where we're going, and that appears to be the entrance into Canary Wharf. Um, and other than that, I've got a name of who to, to deliver to and uh, a company name. So I've got to look out for a bloke called Paul. <laughs> got his number, so I'm going to give Paul a call later. Uh, and in terms of delivery address, who is going to, it just says Canary Wharf Management Limited. Now, I've had a quick look. I can't find them on Google within Canary Wharf itself. So it is going to be a case of phoning up, I think, before I get there. When I fill up with fuel, I'll, um, on the way out, I'll, I'll, I'll phone them up and see what they say. I've got a feeling, and this is just a pure guess, but I've got a feeling as I turn left into Canary Wharf, there's like a little compound on the right-hand side. I'm hoping it's going to be in there. That'd be, that'd be quite easy if it's in there. Otherwise, it'd be going into Canary Wharf itself somewhere, finding some entrance, some building. I don't know what. Hopefully, someone can come out and uh, escort me in. That'd be good. That'd be easy. <laughs> but all I know for now is we've got 22 pounds for Canary Wharf. Don't exactly know where in Canary Wharf it's going to. I need to make a phone call. When we're a little bit closer. For now, we're just going to crack on. We're going to head there. It's a, it's a chunk of a drive there, man. It's like a good three-hour drive. So we're not going to be there until like nearly midday. It is uh, 20 past eight at, in the morning right now. So our ETA is half 11. Plus, we also need to get fuel. So yeah, it's going to be close to midday before we get there. But never mind. Anyway, let's get going. See you in a bit. I've been going out on my head. I've been waiting. For someone to get me help All I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't 
can't get out Tell me things I can't say myself From you and nobody else Everything is out of our sight This is also new to me I can do it all in your way Say all the things that you say I can do it all in one night When I go out The light doesn't shine on me I fade out it's all so new to me I need you Someone to show me the way The light doesn't shine on me To breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in, now I see What I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't get up If you're looking to get into the HTV industry Or you're already in the industry But want to refine your existing skills I highly recommend that you purchase The Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green There's a link in the description down below This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information Anything and everything you need to know Regarding HTV is in this book Go and buy it, link is in the description down below Alright Canary Wharf I think it's those buildings over there You won't be able to see it on the dash cam Just yet But I think I just got a quick glimpse of them Big old skyscrapers they are. Big old skyscrapers. So like in terms of like London deliveries, um, it's not really central London. It's like main roads most of the way there. So it's not actually that bad to be honest. I can't imagine it being very difficult to get in or out. Um, I mean, we'll see where we're going afterwards. Um, but I imagine we'll be coming straight back out the same way. I imagine. But that's, uh, it is yet to be seen on that. Right, I think we need to get over. A13, yeah, this is the lane we want to be in. A13. It's quite important to, to really know what lane you need to be in at the best of times, let alone in London, because you will get someone cut you up. But you've got to be vigilant. watching the trailer because obviously driving an Arctic the trailer cuts in a little bit on the back then sometimes uh, other road users will think that you've just deliberately cut in on them it's not the case <laughs> you can take the corner as wide as you like your trailer's still going to go in a bit that's it we'll just maintain this lane Lovely jubbly, we're about four and a half miles out, so we're getting closer. We are now in the ULEZ, ultra low emission zone. That's it, the A1261, 1261. It's the one we want. Right, where's the HSBC building? It's gotta be very close now, surely. The Isle of Dogs. That's the lane we want. This one here. Oh, okay, HSBC building doesn't have the pyramid on it. It's the one behind it that has pyramid on it. From back there, it looked like the HSBC had it. But yeah, there we go. It's just, just over there. And uh, yeah, so it should be a compound. So it should be relatively easy to get in and out, fingers crossed. We'll, uh, we'll turn up. If no one comes up to me, I've got a phone number I can call. I've already called him. I told him I was 15 minutes away, so he is expecting me. So I'm hoping when I turn up, someone walks up to me and says, yeah, come over here, drive. But obviously, no one will, well, no one might not turn up or come and say hello. So we'll see what happens when we get there. I think we stay in this lane, I think. Do we? What lane do we need? I'm going to get into this lane because we've got to come off but I'm not sure when right so we're going left here there's HSBC we 
do now need to get over. You let me over, mate. There we go. So yeah, turn left here and then we are immediately turning right. into this compound here. Oh, it's a little busier than I thought it was going to be in here, I must admit. Right, I think this is going to be a high-vis area. Right, being waved on in. Cheers, mate. Sorry, mate. more room down here yeah we can easily turn around how's it going mate yeah, yeah not bad you go forward and then sort of back, back in a bit back in there then I'll unload no problem all from one side is it yeah i'll get it from one side lovely take it that's the guy offloading me Oh, I see, we're going back a bit more. Lovely. Right. Let's uh, get the curtains open. I'm going to message the boss as well, see what we're doing next. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are tipping. And uh, there's the HSBC building. I think that one was the one with the pyramid on. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. We're here and we're tipping. Happy days. Right, tipping is going all right. We've taken off a few bags. There we are, just there. A few bags, I mean, a few pallets. Uh, still waiting to find out what we're doing from here. Uh, no idea yet. I still think it's going to be something like Tilbury Docks. It's not too far away. Uh, you might send me other side of um, Blackpool Tunnel to go down to get loaded. We do some stuff sometimes out of, what was it called? Where well, that woman ran out in front of me. We take some stuff down to DHL in Coventry. So it could be that. Could be that. I don't know, just PC building. But uh, we're just waiting to find out. Right, we are nearly tipped now. I've only got two more pallets left to go. Just walk around here, it's a bit quieter. Um, just found out what we've got to do next as well. It is going to be a night out tonight. Uh, obviously, we wasn't sure at the start of the day what, what we we're doing next. So I don't know what you're doing next. You sure as hell don't know if you want a night out. <laughs> uh, turns out we are from here, which is Canary Wharf. We're going to Banbury. So we're going to go back out the M11. Uh, to the uh, M25, go round, take the M40 up to back to Banbury. I'm gonna get loaded for two drops, and uh, they gotta come back to London. The first one is due in Enfield for 5 a.m., so it's quite an early start. And uh, the other one was due somewhere else for 7 a.m., can't remember where it was now. Brentwood, that was it. So Enfield for 5 a.m., Brentford for 7 a.m. That's uh, deliveries for tomorrow morning, but we need to go get loaded first uh, from Banbury. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go close curtains up now, so I think he's taking the last one off. And then we're gonna get out of here. Right, we are tipped. I think we're gonna turn around where that lorry is turning around. Although it will be a little bit harder for us because we're a bit bigger.
Any ready, guys? How do you want to work it, mate? Do you want to sort of pull me and try and reverse into that for now, I think? We can do that if you want. I think so, yeah. You can come right in here. Well, obviously, you know, you know. Yeah, give it a go, mate. I might be able to swing it round if uh, I get the right angle. Should be right. Cheers, mate. Right, move that bloody cone, mate. Come on. Places to be. Lovely, let's go. We're out of here. We're out of here. Right, so, like I said, we've got to go to Banbury now. As long as I put in my, uh, yeah, we'll make that. So long as I put my uh, video clip in that I took on my phone, we are going to Banbury. Uh, it is 113 miles away, which is two hours, 16 minutes. Um, we will need a break on the way up, but we're going to head up there anyway, uh, get a break, and then get loaded for two drops for tomorrow morning. Like I said, 5 a.m. for Enfield, and then 7 a.m. for Brentwood, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, relatively early start tomorrow. I'm thinking, I had a quick look, I'm thinking of parking at St. Albans. St. Albans? I think I know somewhere where I can park. So we're going to try park there. And it should be about half an hour drive in the morning, 45 minutes tops. So uh, to get there at 5 a.m., I'll just be up for 4 a.m. So yeah, early start, but you know, what can you do? It is what it is. And then God knows what we're doing from uh, from Brentwood <laughs> after that. So yeah, uh, we're gonna crack on up to, to Banbury now. Like I said, it's just gonna, gonna be over, just over two hour drive. We'll, uh, we'll crack on up there, get loaded. I will see you in a little while, see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are in Banbury now. Come on, mate, what's, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Proper dawdling along here. He's a giveaway of mine, mate, so make sure you give way. Lovely, 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 we're good to go. Cool. Yeah, so we are in Banbury now, we're only about a mile away, if that. Um, so we're on the final approach. The final approach. It's, uh, it's starting to rain out as well, so might get a little bit wet. I got no idea what we're loading with. Like, I don't know what we're getting on. I'm gonna assume it's like just palletized goods with cardboard boxes on, with food product in. That's what I'm gonna assume. Um, I think it's like a storage facility for like curry, rice, that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to be getting loaded with tonight. And then the plan is to get down to St Albans. I'm going to park up there tonight. Um, they've got uh, a place there that I've delivered to before. And uh, I'm not 100% sure if I can actually park there or not. But I had a look and I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. I've delivered there before. It's like a, I'm not going to say the company. Uh, because I don't want to give away give away the parking space. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to attempt to park there anyway. Uh, but we'll just see. We'll have to see. So this next roundabout we are coming up to is the roundabout. You know, uh, Formula One. A big, big, big fan. Haas are based here in Banbury. Or well, part of them anyway. I think they might be. They're obviously, they're split in America as well. Obviously, but their UK base is here. It's not a very big place. Some of the other teams have uh, bigger places, but yeah, uh, that silver building there look with the uh, the red line on it. Has Formula One team. 
Where is where are you going? You're going left. This uh, foreigner lorry driver here is still dawdling. He must be lost. He might actually be going exactly where we're going. <laughs> Dead end except cyclists. I hope not. When I got this, uh, when I got this job three, I thought I was going to Thorpe Park because it says Thorpe Way, Thorpe Park. So I genuinely thought I was going to the adventure playground, the fun fair, fun fair, roller coasters and all that. But um, yeah, just Thorpe Way Industrial Estate. They said Thorpe Way, Thorpe Park on the paperwork. Oh man, he's really dawdling, isn't he? It's very busy down here, isn't it? Very busy. Got a coach just trying to come out. Oh, come on, matey boy. I think there's a coach coming down, but there's not a lot of place for the coach to go. Don't, don't go, Vauxhall. Oh my gosh. Why are you going? Thank you. <laughs> Coach drivers just look at him as well and disgust. Impatient. I know the lorry in front's going slow. Even I'm thinking he's going slow, but you don't try and overtake him. He's obviously going slow for a reason. Where's Royal Mail going? He's not indicating. See, I was wondering whether I could just park up here, get loaded and park up here for the night. But, two things. Firstly, 5am delivery tomorrow morning, that is a very early start to get there from here. Secondly, look at, the, look at it. <laughs> it's uh, quite busy. Right, he's indicating right now. Is he actually going to go right? I think he's looking for the same place I am, you know. I've never been here before, where I'm delivering to, or collected from, but I've looked on Google Maps and I've got an idea. I think it's the next right. And I get the feeling that's where he's going. Thank you. I don't want to get too close to him in case he just suddenly pulls up, puts his indicator on. But we're going right in here. Yeah, he is as well, look. Fiddy's Pain is where we're going. Unit three and four. There's four. OB Foods. Fiddy's Pain. I think it's here. I think it's here. So I'm just going to put my hazards on and go speak to mate boy over there. Be right back. Typical that he's gone in. So I've just been told that uh, they're majorly behind. They're a good three hours behind, apparently, so I could be here a while. Which means I'm gonna have to do some calculations, uh, like when I started work this morning. There's a good chance it's gonna be late for delivery anyway, because the later I finish today, the later I start, I can't hold that. The later I finish, the later I start. The later I start, the later it gets delivered. So, I'll do some maths in a second once I've parked up. And I can get an estimate of when I need to be out of here by. That, uh, that other lorry that was going a bit slow, he's in front of us over there. Luckily, he's going to the other place to get loaded, so that's quite cool. Not left a lot of room here. On my left side, sorry, my right side.
trying to do. I've cleared the pathway. Someone's getting behind me. Excellent. So I'm going to open the curtains, get them ready to go. Uh, and also just do some calculations. Bear me one sec. Right, so I'm just doing some quick math. So the delivery has got to be made in Enfield for um, 5 a.m. To If I park up in St Albans, it's about an hour away, which means I need to leave St Albans at 4 a.m. You've got to walk, work backwards. So if I need to leave at 4 a.m., it needs, means I need to be parked up by 7 p.m. tonight because that gives me a nine hour off for 4 p.m. So 7, 7 p.m. park up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I've got to be parked up by 7 p.m. tonight. Now, the time now is 20 to 3. And to get to where I want to park up is just over two hours driving. It says if I leave now, I'll be there uh, about basically quarter to 5. So quarter to 5 is my ETA if I left now. And I've got to be finished or parked up by 7 o'clock if I'm going to make the delivery tomorrow. What that means is I've got 2 hours and 15 minutes. If I'm here for more than two hours and 15 minutes, let's just say for argument's sake, two hours is the cutoff. If I'm still here at, uh, what's it, 20 to three now. So if I'm still here at 20 to five, it probably isn't gonna get delivered in time. That's, that's the bottom line. So at least now we know roughly what time we're gonna be there. <laughs> so I'm gonna let them know that now as well. So, you know, just let them know what is gonna be delivered late if I'm not out of here in two hours. Anyway. Let's see what time I am out of here. See you in a bit. Right, so we are slowly getting loaded. It's actually both deliveries tomorrow going to Lidl. Uh, we've got some pizzas on board, I think. Is that pizza? I don't know. Bosch. Summer over. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's all going to Lidl. Uh, we've got uh, 5 a.m. delivery tomorrow. We should hopefully get tipped in time. So when I say tipped in time, I mean we should get loaded in time. I've given them a cut-off point at half past four. I said, if you want it delivered on time, I need to be out of here by half four. So that's what they're trying to do, which is an hour and 15 minutes away. So hopefully we'll be all right on that regard. Uh, but yeah, it's not all picked yet or something. So there will be a little bit of a delay, but just do what we can do, isn't it? At the end of the day, we get there as soon as we can. If they don't like it, then tough. I know I've tried my best, so yeah. So we'll, uh, just carry on. I suspect it's going to be dark quite soon, so and that's that's something to look forward to. <laughs> okay, situation report. We've now been here for two hours. Uh, we're already waiting for three more pallets. Curtains are all drawn up because it started raining and they want it protected against the weather. But actually, this side's done. It's just the other side. Got to wait for three more pallets. And we've been waiting. Well, he said they'd be ready in half an hour. No, it was 45 minutes ago, so never mind. Uh, I think the delivery is now going to be late. By the time we get parked up tonight, I'm assuming there's going to be traffic somewhere. Uh, by the time I park up, get nine hours off, do my checks in the morning and get to the place, it's probably going to be late. But we'll have to see because I'm, I'm always, uh, to be fair, I was only going on the um, uh, assumption that I was just delivering to Enfield. I didn't have a, a specific postcode. So... But to be fair, I've not worked that out. It might actually be longer <laughs> than I expected. Uh, I've, I accounted for an hour to get there. So, but yeah, we're just still waiting. Two hours now I've been here and it's now half past four. Oh, is this it? Is this it? This is it. Oh, right. Literally, as I was just recording that on my phone, they come out. I was saying it was half past two, and they literally just come out as, as I said it. Right. Right, 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 right. Engine on. Uh, we've been sat here for, yeah, two hours and ten minutes. Right. Let's get cracking. Because we are, I'm well, not in a rush. I never drive fast. But it, I don't know, it might be on time. I'll have, uh, as soon as I park up, I'll have, uh, I'll start at four o'clock. Which gives me an hour to get there for five o'clock. As long as I don't have to start later than four. But if I have to start later than four, then um, 
yeah, it's going to be late. <laughs> Current ETA is quarter past six. So, um, if I work that out right, we've got 45 minutes spare. So, it's, uh, but then, then again, I haven't thought about that. I've not got my actual destination where I'm parking up tonight in the sat nav because there's some weight limits around there. So, I've just got it set up so it's taking me close to, and then I'm going to uh, find my own way from there. So, it's probably more like half an hour. By the time I spin round as well, I've probably got about half an hour leeway. So, we'll see. We, we could have get caught in traffic at some point because it's 20 to 5 and we've got to get on the M25 yet as well. So, we are going to get caught in traffic. So, hopefully, we can be parked up by 7 o'clock. But it's, uh, it's touch and go whether we do or not. So we'll just do what we can. Uh, I don't know if I said, but these are for two Lidl stalls. So we've got, first one is Enfield, 5am. I've said that many, many times. The second one isn't Brentford or Brentwood or whatever it's called. It's actually going to Northfleet, which is sort of like just east of Dartford. So um, we're actually going to a slightly different second place. But they are both Lidl RDCs and if you don't know what little RDCs are like they are self tips which means I reverse onto the bay and then I go into the warehouse I get a pump truck and I, I bring them out <laughs> so I'll be tipping myself tomorrow morning that'll wake me up at that time in the morning wouldn't it right anyway let's crack on and uh, get our foot down a little bit <laughs> there's Hass F1 team look good luck next year right see you in a bit Okay, there we are. So, part up for the night. That camera don't need to be on anymore. Part up for the night. Just need to do some daily checks like I normally do. And, uh, yeah, and then we can carry on with the morning. Like I said, it's a very early start tomorrow. So, uh, I'll probably just crack on in the morning. And you might see me. You might not. <laughs> like, before I get to Lidl. But uh, we'll see. Um, all I know is I'm done today. Just going to... How many driving... Uh, one hour 43 it took to get here so yeah because do an end of, end of day check now and then uh, clock off and quite frankly get something to eat and then go to sleep <laughs> anyway see you in the morning Okay, so that's the first job done. Morning, everyone. It is currently half past five. We've got the first nine pallets off. These lot here. Thank you. Press that. It should do it. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Lock it up. Lovely job, mate. Just said I've just tipped on base 78, nine pallets, mate. Just waiting for paperwork. He said come back in about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to the truck now and have a 15 minute break. I think he's reversing in, so we're gonna be quick. Yeah, uh, reverse back, go back to the truck now, have a 15 minute break, and then we'll go back in and get paperwork. Yeah, so like normally if you tip on a bay, then um as long as you're sat in your cab and you're not doing anything, you can have a break as far as I'm concerned. You're, you're you know, doing what you want to do. You're resting, you're on your phone, you're chillaxing. Um, but obviously when you self-tip in Lidl, you can't have a break because you are working, you're tipping yourself. So um, we haven't had a break this morning whilst tipping, but because he just said, go wait in your cab for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, then come back, that's what I'm doing now. So I've got back in the truck, Gonna have a 15 minute break. I've set a timer on Siri. Uh, and I ain't going back in to get the paperwork until my break's finished, basically. So we're gonna chill for 15 minutes, then we'll go back in. I need to charge my phone up as well. And if the paperwork still isn't ready, then uh, we'll just wait inside. But while we're in here, resting, scrolling through TikTok, as far as I'm concerned, I'm on a break. So that's what we're doing. 
Right, that's 15 minutes up, so put it back on overwork now on the taco and uh, just go and see if our paperwork is ready. Hey, that runs. Okay, we're at the uh, the second little drop now. It's very, very rammed, packed full of stuff. The only place I can really put it is that aisle. And even then, I'm going to run out. I've got 13 pallets to take off. But the thing is, when I take them off, I've got to drop them again here and then you get at it at a different angle to go down the narrow lane. So, but we'll try our best. We're done. That's my aisle here. So, uh, yeah, someone's got to count it all now, but I don't think they can count it until they move the other two aisles. So, I have a feeling we might be here for a while. Anyway, here's the trailer. Let's get the ramp up. Uh, give it this side. I think it's that one. Auto. Lovely. That's doing it all by itself. I'm going to close the door. Okay. And, uh, lock it. There we go. There you go. For some reason that didn't shut properly, so it went, it went all the way down, so I'll just sort that out. Now it's closed. There we go. Right, let's see how long this takes now. Time is currently 10 to 8, so we've been here for 50 minutes now. It takes a bit longer because obviously you've got to move the pallets around and, and all that. Anyway, let's see if our paperwork's ready. Okay, time is now 8.41, nearly an hour after I tipped. And uh, my pallets are still here, unchecked. Waiting. So yeah, long, long wait. It's, it's light outside now, but what can you do? Just literally waiting. Whoa. Wow, 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 wow. Finally tipped. What an absolute ball ache. Little is, Lid, little, little is <laughs> in, uh, in Northfleet. I've just been here for three hours. Just under three hours anyway. Ah, oh. Deary, 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 deary. Anyway, we, uh, we're tipped now. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh man, it took forever. A, a few people recognize me in this place and also the last place as well. I've just been there for so long. I was in there for, like I said, three hours. All these drivers are coming in and even drivers that turned up after me were leaving before me. I went up to the bloke, I said, I said, mate, how, long, how much longer is it going to be just so I can let my boss know? 
And also, I've noticed people who are turning up after me are leaving before me. Like, is there an issue like I need to be aware of? Or, no, he goes, your load just hasn't been checked yet. <laughs> so, I don't know what the hold up was, but yeah, three hours, man. That is, that's not on. What is the point in holding drivers for three hours anyway? It's all clear. Like, what is the point? To make sure that everything's there? Well, am I allowed to do this? Not sure if I'm allowed to do this. Um, even if there was stuff missing from the pallet, I don't care. What, what do I need to be there for? You're still going to accept the delivery, aren't you? You're just going to write down on the paperwork that there was something missing. Like, I just don't get it. In this day and age, there shouldn't be any hanging around. There shouldn't even be any paperwork, really. Like, it could all be emailed. Do you know what I mean? Or the paperwork that I give them could be like, I just give it to them, I self-tip, that's it, I go. If there's any problems with the load, if there's stuff missing, then they could just put in an email. Oh, there was a box missing or a pallet missing. Do you know what I mean? Why does the driver need to wait around for three hours for that? Don't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> bit of a rant, but it's just annoying. Anyway, so because uh, because I've left here so much later, it means I'm going to get loaded later than planned at my next collection, which means I'm going to deliver later than planned. It might not even get delivered on time. I might have to do a night out now for no reason. <laughs> like, I could have... This next collection I've got to do is in uh, Coulson. It's got to go to Birmingham. And uh, would have had loads of time to deliver today. There's a chance that they won't take it today now. Who knows? I don't know where exactly I'm going yet. But, like, if I can't deliver today, then that means I was a night out and then I've got to deliver in the morning. Whereas if I did deliver today, I could have been back home tonight. And it's just things like that. It just winds me up. Sitting around for three hours there for no reason. Just waiting for someone to count it. Like, why? Like, let the driver count it if need be. You trust, you tr you trust the driver to deliver the stuff. Thousands of pounds worth of stuff. But you don't trust them to count it <laughs> or to leave. <laughs> until it's been counted it's just it's just madness it really is it's i think it needs to change in this industry it's just pointless waiting around sorry bit of a rant <laughs> anyway that is going to be it for uh today's video because um i'm not entirely sure how long this video is to be honest but it's going to be long enough <laughs> so thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it sorry for about my little rant it should be changed though let me know what you think if you're a driver or if you're looking to get in the industry would that bug you it bugs me anyway Anyway, never mind. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like me on all my socials, Facebook and Instagram and all that. Until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.